In this video I'm going to show you how to install KTM OEM style connectors to aftermarket turn signals. So I'm installing a new subfender on my 2017 250XC. Um, as you can see I've already mounted some aftermarket flush mount turn signals. Um, these didn't come with uh, connectors so um, I'm keen to use the, uh, the stock KTM uh, wiring harness connectors. So I've already installed uh, one of the required connectors here, as you can see. And I'm going to show how to install the uh, second one. The KTM OEM turn signal connectors are made by JST. Uh, you can see a new one here. Uh, it features a locking mechanism which prevents it from pulling out easily. Also they're water resistant, so you can see here there's a uh, seal which seals around the two wires. And uh, for each turn signal connector, you require two contacts, um, which you can see here. These are sold separately, so be sure to order enough contacts with your connectors. And you can see here the part numbers for the connector and also the contacts. The first step of the install is to prepare the uh, wires for the crimps. And uh, you want to make sure they the plus and minus are the same length. So if they're not, uh, use some wire cutters to trim them. And then you want to strip off um, about three millimeters of the insulation of each wire. So I use a tool like this um, and then carefully strip a small amount of insulation off each wire. Right now we're ready to install the connectors and uh, you need to crimp them onto the wires. And I found uh, this tool made by Engineer. Uh, the model number is PA21. Um, and it works extremely well for these uh, connectors. So I recommend getting this tool if you're going to do this. Then to install the connector, uh, you simply lay the wire in the, the uh, connector. Make sure it's lined up correctly. And that all the copper wiring is in inside the connector here. And then get your crimp tool. And uh, on the PA21 there's uh, sizes from 1.6 up to 2.5 and you want to use the smallest one, 1.6 and if you look at the dies, um, the top side has the curled bit so that goes on the open side of the connector so make sure it's lined up correctly and then crimp it down hard and then you can release it and push the connector out Next you're ready to uh, crimp the insulation part of the connector um, and because the insulation pushes it out a little bit um, it's important to press it slightly to make the uh, prongs parallel so the tool has this uh, flat piece like uh, pliers which you can use to carefully press those a little bit and then you use the uh, 1.6 uh, die again so position the tool over the insulation part of the connector and then uh, crimp it carefully and you don't need to do it that hard it's just to uh, to grip the insulation and then the second connector you just do in exactly the same way Here you can see both of the connectors installed and you can see the wire crimp and uh, the insulation crimps both completed and uh, good quality. Next before you install the contacts into the connector be sure to install the waterproof seal. Uh, you can do this before connecting the contacts to the wires but uh, the contacts do slip through the, uh, the seal easily so it doesn't really matter when you do it. Now you're ready to install the contacts into the connector. Uh, the connector body uh, where the contacts fit in, uh, it's a very tight tolerance. So if you have any parts of the connector sticking out, it won't fit in easily. So what I like to do to ensure it goes smoothly is to use the end of the uh, pliers, the crimp tool, and make sure there's nothing sticking out. So just press down lightly 
on both of the connectors and then typically they slide in reasonably easily. You'll also find if you're using a thicker wire uh, or thicker insulation, if it sticks out further than the, uh, the connector, it won't go in easily. So you have to trim the insulation off if that's uh, the case. And then the orientation of the turn signals, uh, if you're looking at the connector like this with the uh, catch here, uh, you want the red wire on the right side. So make sure you get the orientation correctly for LED turn signals. And then press in and you'll feel and hear it click. And then you just do the same for the other side. So the negative side goes on the left and it just clicked in there. And then you can use a pig tool to uh, carefully push the uh, waterproof seal in. And that's the install of the connectors complete. And here you can see the sub fender installed on the bike. And if I switch the turn signals on, you can see how bright they are.